Um, so joining us to pick games, as they do every week, we're going to bring them all on at once. We're trying to, uh, as they are now privy to, we're trying to uh, increase our technology each and every week, getting uh, just a uh, 0.05% better each week. Atomic habits. And uh, here we have uh, not only Chappie, Mike Saroy, and Jasmine, who we have seen in the past few weeks, but a man whose name I haven't heard in a long time. That would be Akash Singh. All four of them join us. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being patient with me. You're Sorry, alive. Been... He is yeah. alive. He's been very busy. Very busy. Yeah. Nowhere, to be, nowhere to be found when he's in the last place. And then he pops his head up to the top, and guess who's got the camera working again? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I honestly thought me coming on might be bad luck because the first week I went over and I was like, maybe me missing is the best thing that could possibly happen. I don't know. So, you went over and I was like, all right, well, Akash yeah. is out of this thing. He needs to go last. He needs to go last because the last three weeks he's 14 and one. So we Damn. need to hear what he You know what that say. is? That's a man who is in the orbit, in the aura of the big man. 14 and one. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's by the way, funny. I got it. He's 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 five and zero, oh, five and zero, oh, four and one. Chappie watches winning, this way too close. I'm well aware. He wrote me. Chappie's handicapping well, us. I mean, you, you got to start looking at maybe. Hey, put some juice on what he's calling out here until he starts falling down off. Of Every it. single day when I was away, I would go to the little mail thing and I would have my tattered clothes and I would put my face up to the window to see if my family wrote me. And the, my dad did, but all he wrote me was just his pics. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you think that's funny? You think that's funny? I don't think that's funny. <laughs> yeah, what's it? Uh, what's it like to hang with Donald Trump, Akash on his uh, awesome. on the flagrant? Undeniably awesome. I don't care how you vote. I really don't. I'm not even gonna vote. But oh, I mean, just a very nice, hilarious guy. Did he bring up Mike Saroy's coins? Did he bring up the Trump coins at all? Yeah, was he selling coins on site at all? Because he's offering a deal. I'm like, I need a no, third. Secret Service gave me one of the Secret Service guys gave me like a Secret Service coin, which is worth nothing at all. But it was very cool to get from Secret Service as opposed to a wait. Bullet. They hand out coins. Why do they? Why do they have coins? He doesn't had one. He was like, I have a Secret Service coin if you want it. I was like, Yeah, I want he it. He totally bullshit you. It was like a quarter. Like he's like, Here's my <laughs> lucky coin. Yeah, it was uh, some kind of. Uh, it's it's dog shit, but uh, it's like you know I was gonna pay anything for this, but I'll take it. Sure. And Akash was on eBay in ten minutes, just checking, <laughs> checking, like ah oh, fuck, all right, forget it. Trump gave it to me. I'd sell it for thousands. I saw yeah, you I guys. Akash isn't us. He's doing all right. People were real. Uh, people were all over Kamala and call her or uh, is it call me daddy? And you guys just call came out and call her daddy and smashed it by like three times the views. You guys yeah, might have I mean, swung look, the election, and I'm halfway not yeah, you know, I, I actually have had that thought, which is it's a crazy thought. But uh, to be fair, most of her views are probably audio and Spotify, which is not going to show up on YouTube. And YouTube, at least our audience, leans a little bit more right wing. I actually thought Kamala was good on Call Her Daddy. And I told Trump's guy to get – I was like, you should go on that podcast. I don't know if he'll – well, clearly he didn't listen because he called her a moron the next day. Yeah, he gave you a quarter. <laughs> So what's that like as far as the prep for Secret Service coming in or Trump coming in somewhere? Uh, how how oh, is that all? It was nuts. First of all, the three days before, all we did was calls. We had like hours and hours of talking everything out. And it was really nice to have Andrew kind of leading it because like his ego is big enough that this doesn't feel big for him, whereas I'm melting down. And then he said a couple things first that was like, look, everybody's going to have an opinion before they even listen to the episode. So don't worry about appeasing anyone. Just ask the questions that are important to you, which was very helpful. And then he said... Um, they're going to try to end this interview. Whoever Trump's handlers is going to try to end this interview early. Don't even fucking look at them. Yep. Don't make eye contact. Ignore them like nothing is happening. I learned, that from, Dan, I learned that from Dan a long time ago. Just Very, don't even look. Yeah. Don't even look. And then yeah. sometimes the handler Pretty. will try to move into Dwarves. your – Yes, move into your field of vision, <laughs> and you just rotate with them. So that <laughs> <laughs> you just never – they're never really there, and it's great. It yeah. works. Um, but then, yeah, to your point, Dan, I had to get there two hours early and like our camera crew had to get there five hours early. So they did most of the security checks with them. Since I was with them, it wasn't as bad to get in. But 
before Trump walked in, they had already had like dogs sniffing around like four hours earlier. And then before Trump comes in, they have dogs, a bomb sniffing dog come up again. We well, how? Have if they've all been eaten, the aren't Haitians eating them? No, so it's good for all the... <laughs> Yeah. For lunch, they brought them in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was actually, a, yeah, it was like an appetizer. Um, but yeah, that was wild. That's when you're like, oh, this is a really, you know, they we're interviewing the, the president, for like legitimately former whatever. This is an insane thing that's happening. Damn. And I thought the week before was a great show. Because uh, oh, that they, honestly they, is my favorite. They had the cubes in for like two and a half hours. I awesome. did see that. Yeah. I haven't uh, watched it yet, but I did see I, I did see that. I told this to Dan already, Jake, but I brought you guys up to Cuban. Or actually Schultz brought you guys up to Cuban and then I told him the story of how I got you guys to quit the ticket and start going. <laughs> <laughs> and he called cumulus morons. So I feel I'm not the only person who they're not going to sue him. I bet. <laughs> no, nah, they're already done with you. So yeah, good money now. No, nah, they, they they that suit perhaps was to uh, you know they won't go with a guy with bigger pockets than deeper pockets than they would. Sure, right? that could yeah, outlast right. them. That yeah. was a that was a uh, war of attrition. And yes, you're well, always going to beat us on red. that. With uh, money wise, very World War One ish. Ah uh, yes, Jake. <laughs> I'm very familiar. <laughs> Did you read? I'm, oh, dude, the 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 German ship just crossed over to meet at Constantinople, and I I feel like things are about to get really bad, really really bad, really really fast. World War One guys. Spoiler alert: They do. What a mess. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. You know, a uh, fun fact: They didn't call it World War One at the time. <laughs> Yeah. That's what you got out of it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot about history. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, we can look at our picks. And yes, uh, Akash Singh on top of all the picks. Now, so this is before yeah. meeting Trump. 14 and 1. Yeah. We'll see what that aura Ooh. does to you. Ooh. Ooh. Happen, to be honest. Good point. And you have the lucky secret service coin now. Or is I do it? have that. I do have that. I honestly hate leading. I feel a lot of pressure with this right now. Yeah, well, we're all going to kind of – I'm going to bet my mortgage this weekend <laughs> based on what you say. You are 16-9 and nine overall after a rough start. Saroy second at 14-11. and 11. Chappie, embarrassed after a 1-4 and four week. He's 13-12. and 12. Jasmine uh, then leads the way with all of us – that are below 500. She's 10 and 15, Jake at nine and 16. But of course, Jake will have the excuse that other people were picking for him. Then he'll be able to ride that excuse right to the end of the year. No, no, no. The real reason is he's an alcoholic. And he don't like that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> really not. That's your fault at the end of the day. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. You know, I need uh, universal self, uh, self acceptance. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, the real reason is Jake has a disease. <laughs> Blake went 0 and 5 last week. Like He's cancer. at 8 17. And I am at the very, 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 very bottom at uh, oh, 7 and 18. Is, is, is that right, Dan? I mean, that's really your record? I don't need to hear it from you. Like, he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. Chappie knows what's happening. So every week, here's how we do it, Jake. And those who don't know how we do it, we will pick basically just three games, but it equals five. Mm -hmm. Because one is a triple play. Mm -hmm. One is the Cowboys game. The Cowboys this week getting three points at home against the Lions. How much has changed in a year? Uh, Weren't the Lions here at the end of the year last year? And the Cowboys might have been favored by a touchdown. They were favored by quite a bit, as I recall. And... uh, then our last pick is a knockout pick, and it's really just something to it, – it just means pick a winner, no spread. And it's because we started a knockout league, and we thought, oh, my gosh, we'll be able to – let's see how far we can go. I think we were all out after, like, week one um, or week two at least. Definitely week two. Like, I picked the Bengals week one, and they lose to uh, New England at home. Um, and I'm terrible at these for some reason. <laughs> Just the knockout pick. And the knockout thing has been terrible for knockout leagues across the land. For instance, we have a knockout league, show-related, just show listeners have uh, all joined a knockout league. Started with, you say, 400? 
Uh, somewhere between seven and eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yeah. How Some... many are in it today after five weeks? Two. Two. Two or three people. Yeah. I thought no it was way. like forty. Uh, now it's down to yeah, like two or three. Wow. Do we allow the? No. Hey, do you want to just split it? No. Did you tell them no? No, I don't. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hand out one big check. We're gonna get a big check and give it to them. We can get a big check because I believe the last two guys asked. <laughs> no. Could they just? Can they just bow out and split? They split should both right be now. eliminated just for asking you pussies. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? <laughs> Come on, man. Jake's this is back. for charity too. Yeah. Can we get a big check for the charity? Jake's oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Did you guys decide on a charity while I was gone? Uh, we've decided that we are going to uh, share the wealth. Okay. And uh, Jared Sandler's charity is going to uh, okay. get a pee. We're just going to put a little here, a little here, a little here, all over the place. Okay. I believe we sponsored a, uh, a team in the uh, the Komen Walk last weekend. So we've already mm-hmm. donated some of that money. Okay. So, yeah. Yes, you so, did. There you go. So I want to make sure none of this is going to leagues of, uh, you know, Female sports where they're letting boys play. No. Nah. <laughs> we would never do that. No, I'm not on board with that. No. Right. Shut that Chappie. down. <laughs> Chappie, you're against that, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that. Safest play on not the board. Not a big fan of that at all. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's happening so much. Well, yeah. they're just hard to yeah. bet, right, Chappie? Yeah. Was, yeah, it is hard to bet. Chappie, I mean, against that. That's really the only reason I care about it. You're hard to bet. <laughs> so I know this gets all the uh, the people in the den here going first, but if you want to go uh, worst record to best record, that's usually the way we should do these things so everybody doesn't steal everybody's picks. No one wants to steal my picks. So I will go first. Cowboy game, triple play, and a knockout pick. And I am going to bet against the Cowboys this week. What the – they are getting three points at home, yet they have tons of injuries. I know they're getting some defensive secondary back, but still no pass rush or pass rush uh, to speak of this week. Probably again, Detroit is awesome. Detroit is coming off a bye, and uh, they lost that close game here last year. So I think they're going to want to win this game. Give me the uh, the Lions, the Kitties, okay. the Motor City Kitties. Uh, then for my triple play, I am infatuated with the DQ and the turnaround of the Washington team, Pat. They are on the road, but not too far from home. They're at Baltimore, who I think is one of the top, definitely five teams in the NFL, if not one of the top two. Um, but they are getting six and a half points at Baltimore. Baltimore has a a tendency to let teams back in the game, even if they do get a big lead. Um, I don't know that they can get that big lead against Washington because Washington has a tendency to score on every possession. Um, So give me Washington to cover that. And my knockout pick, which I'm not very good at this year, but nobody is, it seems, except for Akash. I hadn't really had a chance. but Akash, who seems to be great at everything. (laughs) (laughs) Um, for my knockout pick, give me Philadelphia. Do you see who they're playing at is it, home? Is it Cleveland? The Brownies. It is the Browns, who are uh, circling the drain in disarray. Pets' heads are falling off, and they can do nothing about it. Yeah, it's awesome. It really is awesome. They are locked in to Deshaun Watson and the happy baby pose. Uh, so there we go. That's my picks. Up now we go to Blake Jones. <clears throat> All right, for the Cowboys game, I'm with you, Dan. I think the Cowboys suck. The Lions yes. are well rested. This is great news, considering I see he's 0 and 5 in Cowboys picks. Think, oh wow! I think Dan Campbell really wants to win bad here. The Cowboys have not played well at home, but I'm 0 and 5 picking Cowboys games. Oh no! So I have to do something different, giving the Cowboys to cover the spread. Uh, triple play. The Bucks are pretty good. Baker is uh, playing pretty well. They're playing a Saints team that's going to start Spencer Rattler, and the Bucks are only getting three and a half. I think they cover that. Oh, that's pretty spicy. Little former OU matchup. Give me the apparently just only to me. I am uh, <laughs> absolutely fired up about that. 
I feel like we're, all, <laughs> we're also in a good spot in the Baker cycle as well, so give me the Bucks minus three and a half. Knockout, uh, I'm going to go Bengals. There's no way in hell the Giants can win back-to-back games. Burrow's going to get this thing right. Jamar Chase went off last week. He'll do it again. Give me the Bengals for knockout. All righty. You've never taken the Bengals yet? No. Okay, because you can't take the same team twice, apparently. Uh, oh, now up to Jake, whose record has been shaped by others. And himself, <laughs> though, if you really want to look in the mirror. Very true. Um, <laughs> so are we allowed to do college? Yeah. I just see nobody's nobody's picked uh, – well, I guess I haven't seen everybody's. All the Cowboy the game week. can't be college, and I don't think Good the goal. knockout, knockout game couldn't can. be either. I suppose. All right, I will take, of course, the Cowboys. This is going to be, I mean, this is going to be the one where Dak takes out all that frustration over people inv- invading his privacy by trying to crash his dude perfect <laughs> shoot at his house demolition. I feel bad for the Lions. Okay, I don't even need the points, but I'll take them if you guys are going to be so generous. Um. Why don't you just take him as your knockout if you don't need the points? I want to save that Tough one. Tough guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you triple play it then? Uh, because I have one that I really like. Um, I want to get just real fucking weird with it right off the bat. I want to take Mississippi State plus 34 against Ger- Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I love the massive SEC spread. I love that. <laughs> Nobody cares about the game, but I'll watch it all day when they're down twenty eight, just seeing if they can hold on. Okay. That's gambling to me, bud. I don't want you oh, you want a top three matchup? You want Ohio State, Oregon, three point spread? Boring. Who couldn't do that? Yeah. And for the knockout, uh it's I can't remember who they have, but it's oh, Texans over the Patriots. Come on. What's it are the Patriots still with Drake May? Oh I get they you just know, they, they just went his back first to start us. is Drake May uh, this okay. weekend, yeah, yeah, which is uh, a bit controversial. Many thought he should have started last weekend because they played the Dolphins, who, have, as you know, Mike, uh, kind of kind of feels like a lost season what, right now one, for the Dolphins. Uh, one last week, no. Although I did like the Patriots plus uh, seven in that game, Jacob. I will warn you. But yeah, straight up, uh, they'll probably lose. So you're good. Okay. It's been signed off from above by Mike Saroy. <laughs> yeah, you're I mean, that's fine. Legit. You're fine. Got All right. red last week. Three over oh three. Our last under five hundred participant uh, for the year is Jasmine. What's up? It's me. Mike hacked my hat idea, so that's tough. It's all good. Yeah, fucking captain bit was mine until he swooped <laughs> in. Hey, before I get to my picks, you guys made it brought better. up. <laughs> you guys brought up something about DFW gilfs and milfs. Um, and I know oh. March Madness is, yeah, no, yes, I piqued your interest. March Madness obviously is a ways away, but why don't you guys do a DFW MILFs and GILFs bracket? Okay. We do know. We can sponsor we it. We do, do love, love brackets. brackets. Yes. That's right. We you do. do. <laughs> yep. DFW MILFs and GILFs. I'm just putting it out there. Okay. Yeah. Let me get well, to my picks. I can Who tell are we talking right, about? Let's throw well, a couple I can tell you right now, probably not a one, but Beth a, Van Dunn. Oh, yeah. Beth Van Dunn. I think is it or the is it done? Former Van Dyne. Mayor Van Dyne, of, yeah. yeah. Former mayor of Irving, who is Karen, now Karen Borda. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> it, it's really just a matter. Yeah, obviously, you, we go to TV. Uh, yeah, it's it's really just a matter if you have to do like a full news br- like region or if they're peppered in. Because while she's not a one, probably not a two, a three that I look to make some new uh, some noise is definitely Jane. Jane oh. McGarry. Yeah. Jane McGarry. Yeah, she's still. Wow, oh, hard. gilf bracket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. I guess Steve? I haven't taken a okay, look at we can put this Jane together. McGarry lately. Is Tammy Dombeck still here? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. That is so random. <laughs> yeah, it's random. Not like I think about her every day. <laughs> that was so random and oddly No, this is solid actually. for sure. I guess I haven't looked at Jane McGarry and reduced her great career into uh, just whether or not she looks hot lately. So, well, um, I have. Okay, Now's good. your chance. Yeah, no, this is great. There's plenty out there. Yeah. Probably okay, some ladies who work for like, uh, they appear in ads for their home repair companies and stuff, you know, wives of the guy. That's always a yeah, solid play. Car, car dealership wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, it's endless. You guys could make this. We need this bracket. And Can I put my wife's best friend in there? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Totally, Two days totally. in a row. You, but you got something up. going on over yeah, there, Chief. Going on. Everything's fine. Everything's great. <laughs> South Lake does have a huge percentage of swingers, though. So that's what I've heard. You never there know. You go. You never know. I'll never tell. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, on to my picks. Uh, I'm going to make, make this quick because we know less of sports talking from chicks is more. So give me the Lions Smooth minus talking. three. Finally, someone gets it. <laughs> Finally, someone gets it. <laughs> oh. Uh, give me the Lions uh, minus three. I'm so over the Cowboys. I'm already looking forward to the NFL schedules being released for next year. Like I was three games ago. On. So I'm over it. Oh, I'm over it. No, no, fuck this whole thing. I'm so tired of it. Like now the big news story is our quarterback getting pissy pants because his home is getting demoed by Duke. Like, fuck off. It's so stupid. Anyway, Lions minus three. Um, my lock slash triple play. I'm going college. Give me Wazoo minus three and a half to beat Fresno State. Okay. And yes. Why? I'm doing this. I'm owning it. Because here's my strategy. Because college is so fucking willy-nilly with their giant point spreads. I'm like, all right, the safe one now is to just go super small spread in college. Because, you know, college puts up crazy points. So I'm like, let me just get this. So I, like, whittled it down to, like, what made the most sense in my brain. So there you go. Okay. Because we'll uh, Ohio State fucked me the last time I picked them this year by Marshall. Anyway, oh, yeah. Uh, so stupid. Marshall of all. Anyway, uh, my knockout pick, uh, Bears over Jags. Give it to me. In Give England. Me. Jags yeah. are Jags are historically a pretty good team in England. Well, you, not now. Not tonight or not Sunday. That's a degenerate bet right there. I'm just giving you an opportunity to back out. I just got to do get this out of the way right when I wake up. Here's something you missed last week, Jake. Uh, apparently an Army guy gave Jasmine crabs. Oh, damn. That sucks. Oh, yeah. He did not give me crabs. He gave me bed bugs, and one was in bed my crabs. knee. <laughs> bed bugs. Uh, I swear yeah, to God, it was not crabs. Dude, <laughs> for, for 12 hours, I, I couldn't get the thought of in your knee out of my head. <laughs> yeah, what does that even mean? It was under the skin. <laughs> it was under the skin. It was like I still have a scar. First of all, I can't have crabs. Was it the first time you crabs, had crabs? I've never had crabs because crabs have to burrow onto something. And because I've been in radio forever, everything on me is lasered. I'm like a toddler. I have no hair. So it's like, not that bad. Jesus. So, <laughs> there's there's nothing for it to hold on to. So I can't have crabs. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. <laughs> now, Wait, now if, you don't, if, you, if you don't get them off of you, 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 you got to go get some quail shampoo because if them little bastards start multiplying in your clothes, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I have never had crabs. Oh, I come on. It's fine, crabs. Jasmine. It's a common thing. It's a safe thing. space. Yeah, come everybody. We're, we're all cool. Really? It's Can that be honest, common? As a New Yorker, I would way rather sleep with a girl with crabs and bed bugs. Those are much easier to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, bed yeah. bugs are a bitch. Not even a question. Bed bugs are a bitch. I had to just throw out my bed. It was so bad. It was terrible. Yeah. Fuck that also, guy. Also, what's the correlation <laughs> well, you did. between you doing radio and having no... I was going to say, why, is, why does radio mean no pubes? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Because in, y'all know, hair. in radio, you either get your eyes done or everything on your body lasered if you're a chick. So why? everything on me has been done. Why? Because it's free. Oh, and trade. Okay. Uh, okay. Got yeah. You got it. yeah. Like you got Lucy's and. Yeah. Yeah. Beer. <laughs> and <laughs> factor meals. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah CBD. Yeah. 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 So you're, telling me, you're telling me that uh Yeah, the, boners. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got a constant boner. You're telling me the Eagles Cindy Skull was smooth as silk? <laughs> Probably at one point we're all yeah. endorsing the same damn laser hair place. Hell yeah. I don't like having pubes either. Hook me up. <laughs> I can, hey, if y'all want to get it done, we can get someone to zap those. Let's do it. Okay. All right, anyways. It's painful though. It's painful. All right, so the bears. <laughs> anyways. The bears. <laughs> Sunday oh, day. yeah, so the bears. bears. <laughs> yeah, the Bears. Uh, the bears. <laughs> 9.30 a.m. <laughs> on uh, on Sunday. We move up now to people that are over 500. And that's why we'll we will take what you guys say very seriously. We have to put football music behind you. Makes sense. Because you football people know what you're doing. And we start with Greg Cappy, uh, Greg Chappy Kemp, who looks like my screen is frozen. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! On no way. He's... Hey. So trade. somehow the uh, um, not leading the way in technology. Yeah. Of all the well, participants here. I'm gonna take for my knockout the crab minus eight. Oh no! no <laughs> Real funny, right. Chappy. Yep. I thought we Let were me cool. Start over. Let me start over. Let me Maryland. first say, 
I'm going to take the Cowboys plus three. And I, I was the only one last week to take the Cowboys against Pittsburgh. And I'm going to ride the Cowboys again. Why? I'm going to take the Cowboys. Why? Yeah, let's. let's... Uh, because I think it's, I think, you know, somehow or another, it's going to be uh, finally a few points generated by Dallas. I'm not that impressed with the Lions defense. I think, um, you know, they used to be dominant at AT and T. They have not this year. They've lost both games. But I feel like Dallas will maybe something kind of galvanized last uh, last week against Pittsburgh. They don't have a running back room, but I still think somehow Dallas hangs around and it at least um, with the plus three covers the spread. Okay, now is this um, a game? Because you do this is what you do for real. Like, is this a game you'd actually stay away from if you didn't have to pick it with us? Yeah, I'm not betting this. I've got – this week I've got six on the card, four of those are college. I've got some really dandy college games that I'm playing, so I'm not I'm not playing a, a Cowboy game. All right. Okay, so I'll take the Cowboys plus three. Um, my knockout, uh, I'm going to go with the Eagles. I've lost almost every knockout I have played. Um, I, in fact, I'm like one in four against knockouts. So um, I, I just can't imagine the Browns beating the Eagles. Um, it is the highest line of the week. Or maybe that's why I've been getting burnt and I've been going to the high lines and they just don't even win the game. But I'm going to take the Eagles. And then for my lock of the week, Sunday night, I'm going to take the Bengals. The Bengals are, are they're, uh, minus three and a half. They're playing the Giants. Malik Willis is not playing. Neighbors. Um, neighbors, I'm sorry. Um, I, oh, Neighbors I, I is out? Because, yes. Oh, I thought he was back yeah. this week. Nope. No, he's he's back out. You know, Don't you think uh, his absence has really allowed Daniel Jones to do what he does best? <laughs> <laughs> like it's well, all I been think, about him, yeah. and he's had a couple good games. Well, he's been, he was at a Travis Scott concert getting all litty. Did y'all see that? And people are pissed. Yeah, I saw that. Huh. What? Okay. I mean, <laughs> Higgins, Higgins and Chase are back on the field. Let me tell you something. The, 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 the Giants aren't put together to handle a shootout. That's not – the Giants are not one of these boat roast, racing – Look at last week, the Bengals went into overtime with the Ravens. Do you think that the Giants could put up what the Ravens did? No. This score is going to be Bengals 30, Giants 13. All you got to do is cover three and a half. So that's my uh, lock of the week is the Bengals minus three and a half. Your triple play. Um, Triple play, yes. Okay. Chappies, lock of the week. Still have that, huh? So – what is, just for my own curiosity, what's your other NFL play? Um, I got a couple, but mainly I'm leaning more on college this week. I know. You said I, you have like six it. plays and two, uh, four were college. Therefore, I'm uh, just doing some math here, figuring you have one more good NFL for me. I, I, I like the commanders that you took plus six and a half. I, I mean, Washington's defense that's what I is hear. not that's the only reason he has. Well, I, I just wondered if I'm in a couple other leagues here, and if Chappie can give me a little okay. advice I, and people I, listening, I, I, I want it. I'll give you. I'll give you two more. I like Denver. He only asked for home. one. <laughs> he had only asked for the one. I'm going to write down Denver though. I will take the other one real quick. <laughs> pretty, pretty rough crowd. <laughs> All right, let's move up then. Um, in second place, with a fourteen and eleven mark, despite going zero and five last week. Wow! It is Mike Soroy back in Texas. He's been in Florida. He yeah. was at his mom's house, showing us her uh, Trump coin collection a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh man! And her Trump hat. Sock, and in fact, head. she has a yeah. Trump Bible. Oh really? I heard the those are yeah, made right here in the in United States. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Like, she owns – if no. Trump has sold it, she owns it. I still have some the straws. Trump Bible I, has all his favorite verses. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Yeah. The whole thing. Two Corinthians. The entire Bible. I, I actually still have uh, my Trump straws if she wants them. 
You have Trumpy Our Bear. Birthday is a Halloween, Trumpy. October thirty first. So send them over. Trumpy Trump Bear died straw. in a car accident. Oh, that's right. Trump straws. Well, because all the like lefty homos make they use paper straws. Trump sold a bunch <laughs> of like regular straws that just say Trump on them. Okay. <laughs> it's awesome. Makes total sense. Yeah. Makes total sense. I gotta imagine this, Akash. I would think not, but there's. They, did they give you anything like, hey, stay away from this, this, or this? Dude, no. And so the tricky thing is, you you know he can be combative, so you want to ask questions, but you don't want to piss him off and then ruin the interview to try to like dunk on him like all these other losers. Uh, but the only thing they asked was one was like, when you meet him, can you stand up to shake his hand? And we were like, yeah, man, we're not fucking animals. Like, <laughs> stand up to shake the president's hand. And then the only other thing I asked one question, I don't remember what it was, but I said, we can edit this out, edit this out if you need to, if you want to. And they said, hey, can you please, just please take that out? Because then it might seem like we had you edit things out and we do not want you to edit anything. Yeah, that, I was... Thought that was actually cool the way they did so it. So what you edited out was you saying we could edit this out. We can edit this out. OK. Yeah. That's yeah. The only thing. And they had to hit that for sure with the, the Kamala 60 Minutes thing. You know, like if they uh, had okay, any idea yeah. that was coming. Yeah, like her answers on 60 Minutes were pretty heavily edited. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Not a great Well, apparently it's a 45-minute thing. They had to cut down to 20, but they should have just, yeah. I yeah. Don't know, just, no. Not, and what you do is you don't release one version of it and then try to walk it back later. But all the okay. pretty much every interview you see is edited for clarity. Yeah. But they yeah. just did it in a real wonky way that does not look The great. TV news yeah. thing. Not, yeah. not usually podcast, yeah. Correct. <laughs> okay, sorry, Saroy. Uh, oh, but, man. you know, your whole uh, Trump infatuation uh, got us on that thread. He's a good man. He's a great man. Speaking <laughs> of great man, I watched the entire uh, Netflix Vince McMahon documentary, and that is a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you see the whole picture, the whole story. One good, <laughs> one good man. I always suspected <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. No, he misunderstood. He just misunderstood. Yeah, good uh, speaking of significant presidential interactions, I have uh, adjourned to my backyard, and I am on the Lee Harvey Oswald staircase, the actual location where LHO used to live, and his picture was taken right there holding his little rifle. Yep. I couldn't think of anywhere cool to broadcast from, so I decided to come out here today. So to wait, our out of state you fans, live next door to next that? Door. Yeah. I mean, that is where... Um, you know, the rifle picture? Holding yes, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've seen it. That's it. That's yeah. it? That's literally right there, yeah. You live next door to the Lee Harvey Oswald house. Wow. That's my shit, yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And they don't have, I mean, like, just a historical bunker you guys or something? To... No, and it's actually, it's a shithole. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's an eyesore. So if you don't know what it is, it's, like, not good for the neighborhood, you know, considering it's touching my property. So I think they're trying to get the city to designate it as some sort of official memorial thing, but that's kind of dicey when you're talking about assassinations and whatnot. <laughs> so I don't know yeah. how they're going to, yeah. you know, like I'm to just... proudly refurbish it and put a big sign in front. So Yeah, but I'm surprised some developer asshole hasn't knocked that down and built something on there. No, I know. And it's, but it's a, such a tiny piece of property. It's almost not even a viable lot size, you know, these days it's, it's really weird, but it looks like shit. Um, anyway, it's right here. I'm dubbing it the Lee Harvey Oswald Memorial Pavilion, <laughs> as Jake might okay. say, from the previous segment. Fuck. And you know what? Welcome. Look, welcome back. Don't do I'm it. I'm a Danny guy, but Don't I'm glad it. you're here. I guess. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a big Danny supporter. Isn't he brave, Soroy? But look, but look at you. <laughs> look at you. He's so brave. <laughs> you know what? I not in solidarity, but I have not had a drink in a week. Oh hey, but all right. That's all. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. And part of it was I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go a week. Um, if you remember last week, I was fucking barfing while doing this this segment with you guys. Yeah. Remember? Yes, we do remember. So I went last Saturday, the day after this. I freaking go to the emergency room, and I thought I was gonna have to get my appendix taken out, emergency surgery. I spent all of Saturday in the fucking ER. All from a hangover. I was not hung over. <laughs> Something was wrong. <laughs> Something was wrong. But the surgeons came in and they decided last second not to do it. Um, but anyway, weird week. Haven't had a drink. Welcome back, Jake. Good for you. Danny guy. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I'll go. I'm scared of the 
the Lions look too fucking easy, to be honest. Like, the Lions have an incredible offensive line. The Cowboys have a shit and injured defensive line. The Cowboys have a shit defensive line or offensive line. The Cowboys have a – every line thing is a direct opposite, man. And I yeah. just don't know how uh, they're going to run over the Cowboys nuts – and how we can move the ball against them. Agent Aiden Hutchinson's an animal. Like I don't. This one seems so fucking easy. That's why I hate that Chappie went with the damn Cowboys. Well, and it's like, why so is it only three really, points? Yeah. Well, it's a road Isn't game. Isn't that a little weird? It's. It's, eh. it's very sus. Dude, the Cowboys haven't been good at home though. So no. a couple games. I don't know. I think that's more about the team they play and matchup. Than... All right. It seems odd. I like when it's fishy. I always go with the the one that doesn't feel right, and I'm not doing it. I am going with Detroit. Uh, minus three, and I almost considered making them my triple play because I just don't get it. I don't overstat you all, but I read this one, and it's crazy. Dak Prescott basically sucks, especially against the spread, against good teams. I mean, like, proven. Against the spread, against teams over 500, he's 19 and 33. Out of, like, 300 quarterbacks, that is almost dead last in uh, in covering the spread against plus 500 teams. He just eats up shit teams and shitty NFC East teams, and he doesn't do well against uh, plus 500 teams against the spread. So I don't know. Give me give me a Detroit minus three, but I didn't triple play it, so just regular play there. Do you stat uh, talk Christina as foreplay? No, I never do, but that stat, I couldn't believe that's, it. That's no, pretty wild. Uh, too- it's foreplay to me. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it coming. He's rock hard. Yeah. Since since 2003, okay. 266 oh, quarterbacks. All right, all right. <laughs> He's 263rd. 263rd out of 266 against plus 500 teams against the spread. Chappie, yeah. you're getting you're getting erect. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, Don't say my, it. Screen, my screen's froze. You can't tell how I look right now. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm glad. All right, uh, triple. I'm doing. I'm going. Good day, mate. And going across the pond and taking the Bears minus one. I hate that because I got to get up. And by the way, this segment's a little early for my current schedule, twelve fifteen. But I don't know how I'm going to pull off the, uh, the the London game. But Jags D is bad. Caleb Williams is starting to go deep now. Keenan, Keenan Allen's back. I also saw the Bears got there on like Tuesday, and the Jags because of hurricane shit didn't get there till Friday. I don't know if that means anything, but give me the Bears minus one. And uh, uh, I'm taking Eagles in the uh, knockout deal just because. Because right. they're playing the Browns. Yeah. Well, the man uh, who's had to wait a long time because he's in first place. Four and one last uh, week, 18 and nine overall. Or excuse me, 16 and nine overall. I don't uh, – I got very nervous because last week I was – my triple was either going to be Washington or Green Bay. And I don't know why I said Green Bay, and then barely I got so lucky. So now I feel like there's a few good options, and I don't know what to choose. I'm thinking my first thought is what uh, Saroy said with the Bears. Uh, second thought is the team I'm already always going to try to pick against is the Cowboys. Um, what happened? I here? just uh, I have I, <laughs> Green Bay happened. You saw it happen in real time. I broke. It's over. <laughs> Actually, I'm enjoying kind of rooting against them. To be honest with you, doesn't it give you peace? It's fun. It's, you see it gives why you peace. Hates us. If you try hating us for two games, you'll be like, I get it, and it's way better. <laughs> if you root against them, then you, way you kind of win either way then, right? Because if they no, win, I don't, then you're if like... If they lose, I'm upset. If they win, I'm upset. The last game of Pittsburgh, I couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, well, how do you do this? Just see, lose. See, they make a win feel like a loss. Yeah. Who, f- how, what, to, how? how? No, I'm rooting how against them. I hate them right now. Mm-hmm. I want uh, Jerry and Steven to lose the team, and then I'm back in. Then I'm back in. I just Good need luck. one of the survivors to come forward. You know yeah, what I mean? A couple you... more fun babies, a couple unconsensual ones. Let's just start talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's just get the dialogue going. Not because I care about the victims. I just want them to sell the feet. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to pretend I'm a better person. Brandon than Aubrey deserves better than this bullshit. He'll you find know, another job. Middle school. I'm, I'm twice his age, but we went to the same middle school. I got fireworks when I asked for sexual assault victims to come forward. I don't know what that's about. So. Okay. That's interesting timing. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely betting against the Cowboys. My triple would either be Detroit. I don't know if I can do that. True. Or, or the Bills or the Dolphins. The only thing that scares me about the Bills is that the Jets just fired Salah. So maybe, maybe the team will rally around a new coach. 
you know what? In the interest of having fun, let's just go with uh, the Bills as my triple. And then my knockout league, I'm agreeing with Dan. Um, until Deshaun Watson is out of there, they're not going to have any chance of winning anything. Is so this Salah? That was a thing we were yeah. learning earlier this year, right? Salah? And now Salah. he gets fired and we don't have to know it? <laughs> like, I always thought I it was like Salah. It could be Saleh. It's I've, based on pronunciation like spelling, but I don't know. I would have always thought it was Saleh, but... Because I, th- I think we always used to say Salah, and then mm-hmm. I've heard earlier this year Lebanese? it's Salah. Can't we phone a Lebanese and ask him? Phone a Leb? <laughs> yeah. A, a Lebtard? <laughs> Lebtard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it, didn't they say something like, okay, it was either Aaron Rodgers who got him fired or, like, he wore, like, the Lebanese flag or something on his sleeve, and he's they're like, you're we- out of here. He's been wearing that, though, is what I saw. I think it was I gorgeous. I burned a flag in the Seahawks locker room. Yeah, I think, that's I think that, that yeah. Uh, there was an image that went viral on uh, 4chan. That's right. Yeah, he was there, burning, the, person, burning the flag of Israel. There's one person that got him fired, oh, and only oh. one. Yep. And so, There's only one person that got him fired. Yeah. Alan Lazar. And I don't think he's good enough to. <laughs> and he's looking for any life raft he can find because of his abysmal season so far. My dad this has year. hated Aaron Rodgers since the second he saw his face 20 years I ago. I can tell. <laughs> I can and, absolutely tell. And there you go. Why don't you just keep Nathaniel Hackett calling them big, big plays in the 2024 now, dude? Got a Hall of Famer. So there you go. Chapel, so were you a really big Brett Favre guy? The problem, yeah. Huh? Were you a big Brett Favre guy? Is that where all this hate comes from? I like Brett Favre. Of course you do. I, I yeah. really like yeah. Brett Favre. I mean, he might be close to being in the penitentiary scam in Southern Miss, but I like to do. Yeah, probably Fine. because of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tappy, who's your favorite football player of all time? Roger Stallback. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like awesome. it. I like it. Can yeah, that's right back down. when the team was a team. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably. <laughs> okay. Go on. Go yeah. on. Uh, yeah, I've been saying we're, this. We're pretty good. I've been hey, saying hey. this the past five days. We got to make America great again. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Bring You're back there. the 1900s Cowboys. Hey, 1900s Cowboys. Hey, right. cowboys 1900s. People would typically yes. say like the nineties. What do you think they were playing? Like at Petticoat Junction? <laughs> no. Then, okay, so Roger Staubach's era was in the nineteen hundreds. Okay, right? but yeah, but nobody yeah. says he's that. throwing the ball forward. He's pretty, he's hey, pretty hey, wide. Uh, okay. Hey, Dan, but... Dan. Sorry, that was too <laughs> Yeah. Dan, did you like that picture I sent y'all of the uh two old guys in the uh lawn chairs? That was the most dad. <sighs> Dad picture thought, text. Yeah, it's a yeah, Halloween that's decoration. Definitely all over oh, Facebook. Oh, that's right. Halloween yeah. decoration that says waiting on our Cowboys super to win the Super Bowl with a sign, and it's just a dead couple that are skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is just – that's so dead. Can, can you give me some feedback on that, Blake? Didn't you think that was a little funny? Why, why do you need affirmation from me? Yeah, Blake. Yeah, Blake. Yep. Okay. You're, you're the baron of bits. Yeah. I right. thought it'd be pretty darn good, you know, those people yep. sitting in those lawn chairs. No, 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 we got the whole concept. <laughs> it's in tracks. We, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. skeleton. <laughs> yeah, so it's been so long. Okay. All right, well, thanks, everybody. <laughs> uh, Akash, might talk to you this weekend. Good oh, times. Yes, absolutely. Good to have you back. And, uh, yeah, we'll, yes. Hey, love you, buddy. We'll love all you too, do man. this again next Friday. Yeah. Sounds good. All Later. Right. They're going to stay up. Very to special, a very special welcome back to Jake. Yes. He's back on the show this week. That's right. Aren't they? Very, Go to hell, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to uh, work one more break in here. We'll, uh, all right. All right, guys. <laughs> Bye, Bye DM. Bye. Don't love me.